don't love it by the Only a five, and fill them out your last time. I won't be here on Boxing Day. Fill them out now, your last chance. That's well, that all they are. Well, fine thing, that price. Yeah, shut the smart talk and look out the store for five minutes. Your old dad wants to go and get a quick drink. Dad, I'm supposed to be saying bobbles on the axe. Oh, look, stuff the axe. Knock out a few carrots instead. Bye, mate. That's all they are. Is that all you got? Yeah. Oh, bedroom, what it used to be. Well, Brussels sprouts only look like that for as long as I can remember. Madam, you get Libby with me. I'll put you across me knees, don't you? Oh, that a promise, is it? Oh. Here. He giving you any trouble, Doc? Oh, nothing I can't handle. Here, Ethel, oh. what about a tree? Five pound as seen. Oh. Five pound as seen? Now, you bought a load of dub trees. How can a tree be dud? Well, it can be dead, can't it? Of course it's flipping dead. It's been sawn off at the bottom. Now it's the needles. A good tree holds its needles, whereas a bad one drops them all over the carpet. Don't know if I've heard. you get me new stockings. Well, I wouldn't know. I'd never wear them myself. I hate asking. I don't want to put you to any trouble. Oh, it's no trouble. Pauline would say the same. She's out shopping. She'll be back later. I know it sounds silly. I just couldn't face going back to the flood. <laughs> You're not silly. It's best to be neutral. Better for you to meet him here. It's a sort of no man's land. When do you want the room? About 4.30, if that's all right. Not before. Get it over. No. I've got a few things to do first. Oh, well, Kathy will be back about two. Then we'll have the house to ourselves. I'll go to my room, leave you two alone. I'll be within the earshot in case you need me. Just shout. Thanks. I shouldn't do. I don't think he's going to attack me or anything. <laughs> you never know. And then, you call me when it's all over, and I'll give you a Christmas drink. Cheer you up. <laughs> I caught you red-handed. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I hate this. I can't do any of the things I want to do. Hey, come on, love. You do plenty all the time. Presents and that. I feel really rotten about it. Now, come on, don't start getting depressed. It's Christmas Eve, and your legs are the best stocking fillers I can think of. Andy, I've just remembered two more people I ought to get a little something for. Not much. What do you want, ten? Twenty? I hate asking. Oh, ten. Ten will be plenty. There you go. Thanks. It's awful living on charity. Hey, uh, come on, it's not charity between us. You cannot have charity between lovers. Doesn't make sense, eh? No, I suppose not. It's just, I hate being dependent. I fought hard against it for long enough. It doesn't exactly come easy. Come here, come here, come here. Look, you have your independence. I used to be the one without any money. Now we're taking it in turns, that's all. I tell you, with your skill and training, you'll be back on your feet in no time at all. In the meantime, if you want anything, just ask and you'll get it, all right? <laughs> you help me out there, and then I'll sell while you do your deliveries, and uh, Kathy can do the shopping and the cooking and all that, and then you can do the loo. Just sit down. Look, I don't think it would be a good idea if you go out and stand there in a cold, do you? Oh, it might. Just do me good. Yeah, and it might ruin our Christmas, eh? We don't want you laid up, do we? Half an hour out there won't do me any harm. I don't care what the doctors say. Sometimes they are right, Mum. It's Christmas Eve, Pete. I've never missed a Christmas Eve, not even when I was carrying you lot. It's the feel of it, Pete. Don't feel right stuck in here worrying about the lamb and not seeing all the two-in and throwing the little kids with their big eyes. Yeah, of course. About there it is. Well, it don't seem like Christmas. It'll be Christmas later. We've done all the graft on the stall. The old Sally Army will be around more than likely. You'd be able to hear that. You'd be able to see it out the window. It's not the same. Oh, give me next year. Let me get out there. Let me get at them. I know how to sell at Christmas. That's true, Mum. You're about the best old graft I've ever seen. You know how to sum them up, don't you, eh? Give them the old pitch. <laughs> they all want to believe it. Don't matter. They don't want to see long faces, even if you've had a long day and your feet are frozen solid. you still got to give them a laugh, ain't you? Yeah, you're right. Mum. Look, Mum. There's one or two things you've got to come to terms with a bit about your illness and what it really means. Now, don't you start lecturing me, Pete. I'm not, Mum. But I just want to say this, and it's going to be hard for me to say, because I've been out there with you man and boy, in all the weathers, eh? The good days, the bad days. Now it's going to have to be just me. I don't think you're ever going to be on that stall again, Mum. Your body just won't take the strain. You see? Ah, oh, look, ma'am. 
I've missed you out there today. I really do. And so do a lot of people. I mean, all the regulars were saying, how's your mum, Pete? And wish old Lou a Merry Christmas for us. It don't seem like Christmas without old Lou out here knocking out the trees and... A lot of them. Ah, all of them. So... This is it, is it? This is my world. But we're gonna make it a nice world. So start with the loo. All right. Give us an hour or two. Ah, get up! Chester! Chester! Where's your mum? Asleep. Asleep? What, at ten past three? She's had a few again. Oh, my God, what a lovely Christmas this is going to be. Say that, Dad, I like Christmas. No pewter ain't going to mess it up by fighting all the time. It's not planned, you know. No one plans these things, they just happen. Without you letting them. Anyway, you enjoy it. I most certainly don't. You both do. You're not happy unless you're having a row. Listen, little Miss Big Mouth. When we want some marital guidance from you, we'll ask for it. Dad, I've lived here long enough. I know more about it than anybody. Well, it's none of your business. Don't talk rubbish, Dad. I know what's going on. Get it. I'm trying to. Yeah. Look. And what's brought all this up? Nothing. Just wish it could be a bit more like Pete and Kath, if you must know. Hiya. Hello. Yeah, lovely. No trouble. Just keep good. How'd it go today? Oh, all right. I had to change my act a bit, make it a bit more Christmassy for the lunchtime punters, so I stuck tinsel down. Because <laughs> it wasn't half uncomfortable. Should be burn Ollie. <laughs> yeah, well, some bloke shouted out how about a spot on mistletoe so he could kiss us under it. I must have gone bright red. God, they are <laughs> disgusting. Mm, they're not really, you know, more dreary. It's like it's not what they really want. Well, don't start sympathising with them. Before you know it, you'll start enjoying it. Yeah, well, the others think it won't be long before it gets to be just like any other job. <laughs> I mean, half the time they're thinking about the shopping. There is one girl more than them, and she really enjoys it. She wants to go down the aisle, but all last night, the proms and strip. <laughs> We're going to have to find you something else and quick. Mm. Hey, listen, I've got something for you. It's not much, and it's for looking after Annie. I told you, don't go spending your money on presents for me. It's Christmas, isn't it? You've got to take it. Can I open it now? Oh, Mary, it's lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, you've got your flight booked? Yeah. Friday. <laughs> I suppose they'll all be waiting for me with garlands. Perhaps it's better that you get out. Make a clean break. Start a new life somewhere else. In other words, you're glad to see me go. You can get on with being an Englishwoman while I go back to wearing a lungi. You might even enjoy it. You've never really been at home here, have you? I can't say I know exactly where home is. I suppose ideally it should be halfway between here and Bangladesh. Maybe Turkey. Or oh, perhaps I should have made friends with Ali. Perhaps I should have stayed out late at nights gambling and drinking and then you might have thought a bit more of me. I always thought well of you, up until things... Things what? Went wrong. Were they ever right? Obviously not. Your heart was never in the shop, and neither of our hearts was in the marriage. We got on well as cousins. We took a sensible approach to the marriage. Too sensible. See what it's done to us. It's made me cold and harsh. It's turned you into some sort of a... Look, I'll never, ever do that again. With Bengali telephones, most of the excitement will have worn off by the time you get through. So... This is it. We have to say goodbye. I'm sorry. I had a part to play in the mess, too. I'm sorry you had to be shamed in this way. Perhaps it's been good for me. Maybe I've been too prim. I find it difficult to be English. It's also hard being Bengali. We're all getting confused. You look and sound very much like an English person to me. 
You know where you want to be. It's here. Yes. But just because I have my hair cut and wear these clothes, it isn't as easy as that. I'm still me. And just because I do this or that, don't make snap judgments about me. You won't see many blue-eyed blondes in Bangladesh. They'll all look like me. There'll be less temptation. Look, don't you think I want you? Look, that is ridiculous. And you'll be paired off with someone quieter. Someone who'll play the right role for you. She'll run the house and walk a step or two behind and keep her eyes down in public. But you won't complain if you stay out half the night drinking. When you want to make love, she'll always be willing. Maybe you'll be happier, Saeed. I mean it. Maybe I'm not the right woman for you, in which case this is for the best. And I want that. I really want that for you. I really... Listen. There'll always be warm feelings in my heart for you. There always will be. Wish you well. Can I see you again before I go? Yeah, of course. I was going to suggest it. To wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, hello, Ethel. Hello, Doc. Well, <laughs> can we come in for five minutes? Yes. That door's shut. Oh. oh, it's bitter outside, isn't it? Dark freezing. Mm. Well, we just come in to see how you was doing. Mm. It's nice in here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. It's nearly like I want it. Oh, they must have worked ever so hard to get it so nice. Yes. Oh, it's hectic out there, Lou. You would think that people would know that they need a turkey and what to go with it before five o'clock, wouldn't you? Oh, it's bargains here after. They get them to the state of desperation so they can get a turkey for a couple of quid, all the bits for ten bob. <laughs> all so I dislike that type myself. They're supposed to be hard up, but they never are. Ah, oh, then it's all part of Christmas, isn't it? I mean, waiting for the eve. I can't stand the lot who get their Christmas presents in the January sales and their cards at Easter. I mean, if you're going to do that, you might as well go wholesale and lay in ten years' worth. Well, I didn't buy much. Just a turkey leg and a few sprouts. No, I'm not bothering at all. I'll have beans on toast. Maybe a couple of rashers. Well, I mean, it's not worth it, is it? I mean, you don't fancy it when you've cooked it. And who else is there? Oh, so, so you never intended cooking that big dinner, like the one you told Tony about? Oh, well, sometimes you say what you hope, you know, like it was true. I mean, it's Christmas, isn't it? 
I think it's a bit sad when the band plays. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a happy time, you know, but really it makes me damn miserable, to be perfectly honest. I mean, you know you're on your own because the telly and that keep rubbing it in. You two, why don't you keep going on and on? At least you're healthy, at least you're not dying. I bring you, are you? Who knows, Doc? According to Pete, I'm a prisoner in this house for the rest of my days. So it won't be long before I pop off, will it? Oh, you don't talk like that. You'll see us all off. I won't. We didn't know what food you were allowed to eat, so we bought you a few tangerines and some nuts. I mean, there can't be no harm in them, can there? Well, it's going to be a big Christmas for you, isn't it, Lou? What with little Martin and Wixie? Yeah. But I wish you'd call him Simon. Oh. Plenty of booze, Radio 1, on all day, deafening. I can see it now. Every year it gets worse. And they don't take any notice of what I want. Yeah. Well, it is a bit hard to take when you're getting older, especially when you've been the boss. But, I mean, it's worse for Ethel and me, you know, being on our own. Listen, I've had a good idea. Why don't you come over to me for Christmas Day? As I can't go out, I might as well have a party here. Oh, you can't do that, Lou, not without asking. Oh, no, Dot's right. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. If I want you to come, you're coming, and that's that. Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas. I hope this is enough for the two of us. Well, how can you tell till we've eaten it all? And it's too late. The search me. I think that the buying and the preparation of food is somehow part of the genetic makeup of the female sex. I never had to do any of this on my own before. Thanks. Oh, come on, you know what I mean. Now, we got a 12 pound turkey, beef, pork, ham, sausages, pie, and bacon. Do you think that will see us through till Saturday? Yeah, but it don't look like much when it's just sitting here, does it? Nah. <coughs> No, you know, mysterious thing, shopping and cooking. Some foods that look small in the shop, you never get to finish. Mm. And a lot of huge looking items go down your throat before you can blink. Well, it's this veg and all. I still can't work out whether we need one, two, three or four pounds of sprouts for a Sunday dinner. How many have we got? Five. Five. Uh, five. Uh, we still got several days to go through. You think I should order a couple more from the supermarket? Oh, no, well, we've still got two pounds of frozen peas, and there's four pounds of those carrots, and there's loads of sweet potatoes. Mm. Well, maybe you'll get by then. Yeah. Hey, where'd these come from? Hmm? Oh, your mother and Cassie. Will she open them now, then? No. Nope. Why not? They won't be here tomorrow. They won't know. No, wait until the day. Here, has Mum got one for you? Yes. Well, did you get her one, then? Naturally. Well, you know what curiosity did? Look, there's far too many cats in this world anyway. Go on, what'd you get? I made her a silver pendant. Oh, you didn't spend any money then? Well, I didn't exactly get the materials free of charge, but what I did spend was a lot of thought. And we all know that's what counts at Christmas. <laughs> it's our first Christmas on our own. Yeah. <laughs> Your mother would be expecting a visit in the afternoon. If it can move after all this food. <laughs> yeah, do you remember her afternoon treasure hunts? Big presents <laughs> in the morning after breakfast and silly ones in the afternoon. Uh, hey, we'll still have a good time, Calvin. Even if you didn't manage to get any Christmas pud this year. Oh, I bought one. A good one. From a vegetarian shop. Oh, I didn't know they put meat in Christmas pud. Just silver sixpences. <laughs> Which I got custody of. Oh, yeah, just like old times, <laughs> eh? Well, not quite. <laughs> Sharon, if I wanted to hire a belly dancer, I would, wouldn't I? Meanwhile, no auditions. Where I was up for you? Nothing. I decided to spend Christmas here after all, eh? Presumably you couldn't bear to be away from the till. No, Ange. I've been shopping to get you a little something for Christmas. Oh, sorry, Dan. I was only winding you up. I think you're going to like this. It's a very nice present. Glass fibre, filler, sandpaper discs, sealer and brown cellulose paint. Coming very handy with your new hobby, because if you're going to take up stock car racing, darling, you've got to learn how to repair them after you smash them up. I walk straight into them, don't I? Oh, right, you're going to knack as you are. All right, all right, you must be tuned up by now. We'll have the carols later when you finish serving, eh? Look, Debs, I know we normally open up the presents Christmas morning, but I just wondered, can we open them up this evening? 
Why can't you wait? Not oh, Gorney. It please. won't be worth it, honestly. Oh, please, 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 please. <laughs> All right. Well, don't look because I've hidden it. <laughs> There. <laughs> oh, this is fabulous, love. Oh. <laughs> I knitted it myself. You what? I said I knitted it myself while you were out moonlighting. Oh, I didn't know you can knit. You see, parts of me are still a mystery. Oh, this is lovely, love. Isn't it? Fabulous. Pet's great. Yeah, well, I took all your other jumpers and I measured them and got an average. Hmm. This is the best present I've ever had. To think you knitted it for me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wouldn't go through that for anybody else. <laughs> Hang on a sec, I will get yours. Turn round. Close the eyes. Andy, I hope this isn't too expensive. Really, I mean it, you know. Have a look. scratches on a few cars aren't exactly going to get around. OK? OK. Thanks a lot. All right. Here, Lofty. Go on. Go on. Go on. Take five. Go and have a chat to Mary. Oh, all right. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Happy Christmas darling. Oh, you OK? Yes. Yeah, sort of. It's a little bit of cold, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not really packing it in. Pneumonia's nasty, you know. Excuse me. Uh, can I have a word? Sorry. I've got to tell you. You know the car business? Yeah. Well, I did it. Well, I can't really take the statement here, can I? Do you think you could pop into the station after Christmas? Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Thanks. I feel hell of a lot better now. Do you want a drink? Oh, orange juice would be lovely. Thanks. Coming up. Change it all right. I uh, and you change it behind the bowl. Who's this then? Your new fella. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, listen. Your mum has made you some mince pies for Christmas and a cake. Hey, mum. Mm. I didn't tell her about the baby. I thought I'd best leave that out. Pies, love. You gotta have one. Smell it, it's gorgeous. Any sign of a job yet? No, no. no. Uh, don't worry about it, but something will turn up. Might not be the job you want, but the job's a job these days, isn't it? Right then, all together on Good King Wenceslas. Well, this is working on that orange. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's good to see you for Christmas, love. Yeah, it's great. Hey, listen, thanks for helping me out. That's all right. Merry Christmas, eh, darling? <laughs> oh, that was it, Mum. Oh, what a thing to ask about something so private. Can't be personal, Pauline. No, Mum. What Pauline means is, is it to your liking? Do you think you'll be happy out there? It's freezing, but it'll do. <laughs> Extenders will be recovering from Christmas.